20 and oh. Let's develop the knight. Let's hope we can get some time. Time to think. Let's develop the knight, attacking the pawn. Oh, they're going for a little bit of a gambit situation. Um, I think we'll just support the pawn. Let's not make it complicated. Support the bishop. Um, knight, sorry. So I think in a way they do win the pawn here, but positionally, I think they should have taken there, shouldn't they? Can we capitalise? I think we're going to take now. I think if they'd have taken them, we would have lost the pawn, I think. But positionally, we would have been okay. Take with the bishop, 2 on 1 on the pawn. Obviously, they're going to take... He's got our pawn here. Okay, let's take with the bishop. Take with the queen. Takes the pawn. Doesn't take the pawn. Right. Okay, so we can take this pawn, can't we? We still got time to take that pawn, yep, all right. Takes with the knight. We can take this pawn here, and we're falling into stuff. Knight jumping, king's not castled. Shall we take first? We're on a higher piece. It's a shame we can't come back here, because his knight's there. And could bring it back here, attacking the knight. Could bring it here. Options, options, options. I'll bring it here. It feels no, it doesn't feel too safe there. Mm, queen probably coming to X rear through. Let's bring it here. Probably chomping for a queen side castle if we need to. Oh, straight away in the attack. Nothing can block apart from the pawn. The knight is in, so we can take with the bishop, attack him. His pawn is going to drop down onto the bishop. So I think we're going to have to take with the pawn. Takes with the queen. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? I thought they were onto something there. Oh, they're acting like they didn't actually see the bishop there. Oh, they're still playing on. Shocking. Shall we go on queenside castle? Or just put a check on the king? Or just take the pawn? Just take the pawn. x ray through. Knight can't move. Hitting the rook. Oh, I thought they were coming with a diamond situation there. It looked a little bit pressurised, but they're moving a bit quick. And they've left the game. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I don't think they genuinely saw the bishop being there, but never mind. Last one seemed to finish a little bit quick. It's a 20 minute game. We're trying to get some thought processes going on. But I suppose in the last one, we found appropriate manoeuvres, so I didn't feel too pressurised. The opponent was very attacking, a bit like this player is here. It's coming for our pawn. What shall we do? Shall we just take the pawn? Um, what do we do? I'm going to take the pawn, get it out of the way. He's going to put... Oh, he's got the fried liver, dude. No, he's not. Not yet. Queen's protecting that area here. Let's get the knight out, maybe get the bishop out. Ooh, he's coming for. Let's get the knight out. It's attacking the pawn. We're not looking to lose time taking the pawn. We want to get king safety. Give the king some company. If it's asking for it. I think it's asking for it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got that funky knight thing. 
Right, let's not lose any sleep over the situation. Shall we take the pawn? Queen's protecting here from the funky knight. Let's take the pawn, make some space. Don't don't lose any sleep over it, dude. Let's just do it right. Um, get the bishop. Oh, the king is airy though, isn't it? We're going to have to do a little bit of this or this. It's got two moves to make. One of them could be that, then that, then the bishop takes. He's got to check on. Let's move the king. Sorry, Rook. You're out of the game. Ooh, you're out of the game. Do I want his knight queen getting in the game? I'm going to bring the knight across. Try to give my king some company. I don't know if it's going to squeeze here or not. He doesn't have a dark square bishop, but the queen can drop here. It's leaning through into our queen. Let's just support the queen. Oops, excuse me. We're trying to get this, this, and this. Let's hit the bishop. Queen will be searching for that. We'll need to get that out of the way. Let's move the king. This knight's going to move somewhere, anywhere, so that the queen can come here. But we should have enough time to get the rook in the game and drop down. Shouldn't we? Yes. Ah, oh, the queen's got it anyway. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, bishop can't come and protect. Knight can't protect. Uh, can push the pawn. Does it weaken the situation? I'm going to push the pawn. See if we win some tempo to drop it down. Does he have something that can attack the pawn again? 2 on 1. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, bit tense, bit tense. They're very attacking, both of these players that we played in this 20 minute game. Very uppity, aren't they? So if we bring the rook maybe here supporting the bishop. Or maybe supporting the pawn and the king can just drop down. What's his plan? His rook's come here. But is he going to double up? Got the knight there at the minute. Oh, this pawn's going to see the knight off. Very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we just bring the king here? Doesn't have to go backwards, does it? Interesting. Maybe we could have just moved the king there, saved a bit of tempo. Oh, it's off. So we take. What's kicking off now? The knight's in, attacking the bishop. <clears throat> Can we get rid of this? X-ray through. <clears throat> does he have a check on my king? He does with the knight. Pawn can take. That white square bishop. Let's get this out. X-ray and through to the queen. Let's take. They are really aggressive. And it's not that they're finding better positions though, but they're so aggressive. If we did come here, his queen can take, take, and his rook can take as well. But he just loses the queen for nothing, really. So we'll attack the queen. So we can take the rook off the board. I think we're going to take it off the board because they're very huffy. We have to be mindful now. Probably just attacking the queen. Just attack the queen. We are a minor piece up, aren't we? But we need to keep finding the positions because we've lessened the amount of pressure they can put on us, I think. All right, so. 
knight's protecting here could attack the um, knight this way could take this pawn off there's no fisher spasky here is there if he drops the pawn yeah we can take this pawn so it can come here but the bishop can take he can go there the knight can take so what's the knight looking to fashion maybe a two on one here somehow but the rook can't come here so we need to fashion a way of trying to get this rook off the board and it looks like they've left the game so that's two games where in these 20 minute games where they've been really kind of aggressive and thankfully we've been able to claw it back and um, find better position nice game and as the last two were very aggressive i'm hoping maybe these might be a little bit calmer and uh, a little bit more chilled get a bit of a long play going on queen's out early i'm going to attack the pawn let's take with the queen knight's coming out obviously let's hit the knight moving a bit quick there sorry i need to slow down because I'm not going to find the best position playing like that, am I? So he's got two on one situation going there. We can just bring the queen here. Still supporting. Still hitting the knight. He's got three pieces now on there. And he's attacking my queen. So we can hit his queen. So I don't think he's going to go here because the knight will take. So he's going to win the pawn. Oh, he has done. So we'll take with the knight. Oh, I'm surprised at that. They took the time as well. Doesn't mean we've won anything because they're carrying on. So it might be a set play thing. So shall we just bring the bishop out <clears throat> and attack the knight? He doesn't have a fork on our queen and queen, queen and king, does he? Nope. So we could do this, but he just drops the pawn. Shall we just get out of the way? Just pin the knight to the king. So take it easy. Um, castle. Still playing on. Let's take. Luckily the knight can defend the bishop if he does take. Okay, so he's not doing that. So if we hit this knight, then he has to kind of move, but I suppose he moves there to protect the bishop. Because we were thinking of getting the bishop for free, but he can go there. Yeah. But we can hit it again, but he'll just jump back to the same position. Okay, let's develop the knight. Obviously, the rook is going to be coming supporting. Need to look where we're going to position the queen. So that was a bit of a crazy start. These 20 minute games seems to have <laughs> given more excitement than the uh, 10 minute games. So what we're wanting to do, main idea, keeping the king with some company. It's very basic, but it's a crucial thing. So the, looking to disturb the structure of our pawn. So we're going to move here. If they forget themselves, but he's not going to do that. Bringing the bishop here to attack the queen. So we know all this. This pawn hasn't got any protection on. We could just bring the queen here. But then he drops. So that spoils that a little bit. Or we could just bring a... Mind you, this pawn's got no protection after all this sort of stuff goes on. I'm going to do this. We do have a moment in time. Because they're going to move the bishop. Oh no, you are kidding me. Oh, I don't believe what I've just seen. They've got an x-ray through to my king and I don't have anything to be able to block it. Oh, you are joking. That's me. That's overconfidence. Overconfidence for winning their queen. Feeling I'm, I'm doing a good job. There's nothing I can do gonna have to take and they've equalized oh that's shocking 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 oh can you adam and eve it 
I'd say a minor plus, a minor plus is that we seem to be a little bit more activated. So we may be able to peel off a few pawns and improve our position quicker than the opponent. So we're going to bring the knight here. They'll be looking to own the files, but we'll just do a trade off. These three pawns here are not too clever. Although I did see, was it Ray Robson in one of those um, St. Louis games of some sort? Um, he actually won doing this with the three pawns. I thought that was quite amazing. So we can move the bishop. I think we'll just move it here. So now he's got to bring his bishop out somewhere, probably here like this, or even to here attacking the rook. So hopefully, fingers crossed, is it true? Oh, he's um, doing stuff. He's doing stuff, but um, we can go and attack this pawn, but his bishop will take us. Uh, there is places for me to go. I don't really want to be on the edge. Let's maybe jump in the middle a little bit. So he's giving us things to think about, but I'm hoping he's losing tempo because he's not linking the rooks up, so I think that's going to happen. So I'm going to attack the rook. He's, probably, he's really wanting his pawns to get linked up because he doesn't like the triple pawns. So I think he'll just wait for us to tip. Oh, they haven't done. Let's just grab. If we get the opportunity, we can go here, but we're not getting the opportunity, so we can... If we move the knight, he's going to take the pawn. So we can bring the rook here. But he's going to get the knight for free. So we could support the pawn by bringing the rook here. Then his rook comes and he's got like a 2 on 1 situation. He's got a 2 on 1. Knight could go here with a check on the king. Pawn takes, rook takes. Right, okay. So I think we're just going to have to resign the fact that we've lost this pawn. So we can come here and attack this pawn. But he's, he's going to take... Ah, yeah, that's not going to work. If we go here, then he takes, then we attack, and then he's got the support of his pawn with the bishop here. <clears throat> We'd have to hit the bishop. The pawn, sorry. And he'll probably let us take it because <clears throat> he goes back. But then the knight will take. All right, that's that's doable. So off you go. Okay, let's not do any preemptive stuff because they might not. But it's pretty clear. So they're plus one. Out of all those exchanges. Yes, they have gone for it. And then sits here. They're probably seeing now that we can attack this pawn here. It does take. And we can take with the... Hmm. I think taking with the knight looks better, you know. Jump up here. So they're plus two now, so he's actually going for another pawn again. So do we have anything with our dark square bishop at all? Not really. Let's go and attack this pawn here. Maybe he come... Okay, he's not doing that. Let's take the bishop off the board. Free piece. And they left the game because they realized that they'd left the bishop on pre- Interesting game that one was. That was a bit better than the huffy aggressive one, um, two that we'd had earlier. And this one really made us have to try and improve our position. The weakness was these three pawns here. So the opponent was clambering to try and improve their position by grabbing pawns. But their pieces didn't look like they were working together. So I think that was a benefit for us. As you can see, our pieces are nice and together working in harmony. Good game. 20 and 0. Ooh, I've not seen this for a while. Um, okay, let's go here. Old school. Let's 
Tak, kui. Stay the queen. Shall we attack the bishop? No, we will lose the pawn. Mm. Fianchetto. Stuff I cannot stand. Just to protect the pawn. He's coming in. He's got it. He's got the fried liver. Let's bring the knight across. Defending for a brief moment. Might get castled if they're not going to go crazy. Shall we castle? That was always happening. The bishops wanting to try and get the knight somehow. To shift across. Attack the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Let's get it out of the way. It's got somewhere to hide, but we can always attack it. Yeah, we can always attack it. Let's hit it with the smaller piece. And again. Yep, and again. Let's take it off the board so the threat has gone. Let's hit the knight. And let's get our knights back into the game. Looks a bit congested. This is it's not clear as to what's actually happening here. So we're going to hit this pawn in the center, see if we can open things up a bit. Need space for the white square bishop somehow. Fiend Cheto on the other side. It's got two on one there, so let's hit this bishop with a smaller piece. Let's get the Fiend Cheto going. It's attacking the rook. Where is he wanting to go? Nowhere really. Could attack this pawn, it's got no protection on it. Let's do that. Obviously, the rook's coming to support. Double the pawns in front of the king. So the bishop's feeling strong because it's stopping the knight from getting activated here. But we may. Okay, so it's letting us have the pawn. Doesn't want his pawns doubling. Got a bit of an issue here. Going to have to do that. I don't think I'm going to get time to do that, but... Fingers crossed, maybe. All right, so he's actually blocked in. So he's defending the pawn, this knight. Mm, if we take and he doesn't take, but he's going to take. So it gives us time to actually bring the rook here anyway. And then we can push this pawn, supporting by the bishop. Bishop's got two on one situation. So it's like a slow build-up that we're trying to do, trying to work the pieces together as best possible. So it's not clear. We're plus one. But as you know, plus one doesn't mean anything if you've not got the position right. I think one of the key things was the bishop blocking here, not maintaining the pressure on this pawn, and just focusing on protecting the knight because I don't want to double the pawns.
and we are owning the file for a brief moment. But can he block it? No, he can't block it just yet. Okay, what was the plan? I had some sort of plan in my head. Oh yeah, the bishop. Bishop putting the two on one here. I mean, he is protecting with the knight. So you can expect this rook to come and defend. It's not done that, so we can take. He's still wanting to avoid the pawn being doubled. So I think the bishop is going to take. The problem we have is we don't have any support for this and the rook's going to have to go up and support it, isn't it? Well, up here. I do believe that that bishop is taking the knight. Is there anything better? So we've got like a bishop on here, so we could go for a rook exchange, couldn't we as well? It's going to take. So if we go there, if they take, then we take, then the rook takes, then the bishop takes, we're on the pawn. It's pretty even Stevens really. Knight can come and attack the pawn here. His knight comes back to defend, but bishop takes him. Okay, that might be a plus. It might be a plus. Let's go for the attack. He's not forced to take because we've not got a check on his king. So he could do some fancy dancing. does take so we're going for the exchange looking at the picture so we said we were going to try oh we can't <laughs> the bishops there we can't attack that we can attack this pawn though so he's attacking this pawn at the bottom we could take his pawn at the top shall we just push this so I think he'll just come running back again with the bishop. Yep. Does that win us a bit of tempi of sorts? We can attack this pawn like we said. Let's attack this pawn. Support of the bishop and the knight. Let's attack the knight. It's not wanting to play them apples. So we can come here and take the pawn. Tricky wicket. And try and just push this up now. So even though he takes, if we pushed the knight, pushed the pawn, he takes, we push, his knight can't stop the pawn promotion. So let's go here. Let's go here. He's got that position though with his knight, so he can actually stop it, can't he? Ah, okay. Well, we save our knight anyway then. So we can come here, but then his king can come here, then it stops us from coming to here. Anything else? Bishop's got me blocked off on this side. I cannot do anything there. So if I come round here and then I attack his knight, then his knight just jumps here and just blocks the way. He... Up, king just blocks, which is a bit annoying. We come down, attack the knight. Then he goes and blocks. Then we've got play to come here. Right, okay, that's the plan. Let's do that. If his king doesn't block, then we'll just come here, I suppose, and just dance around here, attacking the bishop or whatever. Nope, all right. So we could go and put a check on the king. Let's attack the knight, like we said. And we said it's just going to jump in here. Blocking it, what else do we have? We have this and then this blocking in their bishop. Okay, let's get the knight up. I think they'll see this, but never mind. It's something, gets it moving. I think the bishop may want to just attack the knight anyway. 
but we do we're attacking this pawn so you think he's probably going to trap himself in and just stay there forever then we can go and attack the bishop not saying we take it maybe we're trying to get the knight somehow and then the next thing would be trying to get these pawns off the board with the bishop maybe So it's looking tricky, but we've got plenty of time to... We are plus two as well in this, but it's trying to manage the position. So we could go here and we'll get the bishop off the board. A nice check, a rune, or we push here because the knight is protected. Push here, but then the bishop comes and attacks the knight. And we can still go and put a check on the king anyway. Let's push. It's a plan of sorts. It's like we said, we could have just taken this pawn as well with the knight. But I'm just thinking the knight seems to be okay here at the moment because we do have a potential check on the king. Maybe that's going to win us a bit of tempo. Bishop comes. Take or check. Check on the king. King comes across attacking the knight. If the bishop comes there, we'd be able to be on the bishop. So that would be a bit annoying. So you think it's coming here. Take here. We're on the bishop. Bishop then has to do something. Maybe it comes here and attacks the pawn on the back. But the king gets activated then. All right. It seems straightforward enough, but you never know with these things. Because I don't think he's going to be able to challenge our bishop from this position. No. These 20 minute games have been very interesting. Very interesting. And I must say, they've not taken any longer than what a 10-minute game would take. But I think there's, you know, in the back of your head, you are thinking you've got longer to process what's actually happening on the board. And their signal's gone, so it looks like they're going to be leaving the game. Okay, 30-odd seconds. Yeah, looked a bit tight for them. But it still had play per se. It just felt a little bit... More advantageous for us in parts. It all comes down to those small details again, though, especially in games like this. You know, you can look at it and go, well, it doesn't look that bad. But when you break it down positionally, because I think I'm more of a positional player, um, we'll play in victory on that one. Yeah, very nice game.